Welcome back. You're watching Tao Thursday with Ilchi Buko on Brain Education TV. Last time, I shared with you the principle of how to create a healthy, positive relationship. Today, I will show you practical step-by-step -step communication that you can do with another person that you want to create positive and healthy relationship with. It is five steps. First step is having the right mindset so that you are not in a place of victim or blame or judgment about other person or including yourself. You want to be in the right mindset to say I'm a spiritual being. Second step is when you begin to face that person, then you begin to share your true feelings. But this true feeling is the surface feeling of how another person made you angry or uh, feel a certain way. Third step is deeper emotion. So there is the cover emotion that was on the second step. But now we go deeper inside. It's the true reason why you are upset to begin with. So for example, I am fearful that I'm losing something. Fourth step is let another person talk and you listen. Now, fifth step is you have these five healing words. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please help me. Thank you. I love you. Through those communications that you do step by step, you are able to share your true feelings and listen to what another person wants to say to you so that you can connect with this person. You can share the deepest feeling, how much you love about this person. So let's try uh, for us ourselves too. So first, please remember, close your eyes and please remember about your relationship, what you want to improve. So you know the specific person you may have problem communicating with. And you feel more anger or other emotion sadness come first before you are able to process this emotion with yourself or communicating to have better relationship. More of a hurtful feeling come up first and want to blame other person or want to judge about other person. Can you recall that? Now, Let's just imagine that you'll be talking to this person. First step is having the right mindset. So say to yourself, beyond my emotions, I am a spiritual being. I love myself no matter what is happening. Beyond my emotions that goes up and down, I have this true self-love that is a constant and loving that I want to share with everyone. Second step. Now imagine that you are sitting in front of this person to share yourself. Now, second step as sharing your feeling, whatever you are feeling on the surface, so you can share without being blaming or judgmental towards other person, simply share your feelings. For example, I am angry because this, this, this happened. And I cannot understand why you are acting this way. Without feeling of blame, you can simply share how you feel. Third step. Now you can go deeper inside of yourself and be vulnerable. Vulnerability is a strength. Because you know you are a spiritual being and you are truly unconditional love deep within you, you can share your vulnerable side too. Even you can utilize the word like I was ashamed or I was fearful that I might lose you. So 
you may feel this fear that was there underneath that surface emotion of anger or sadness. Now, next step is listening to what another person may want to say to you. Simply, you are going to listen to what other person is saying to you. So this is the step of acceptance, accepting what others are feeling. Usually when you are angry, you are too busy with your own emotions and you are unable to hear or understand what other person's experiencing. But through this process of being honest with your feelings and even being in touch with the depths of you, what fear existed, and being vulnerable, you are able to accept what other persons may want to share with you, how much he or she may have been in pain. You can feel another person's feeling. Now, fourth step is to say these five words and be able to let go of what you have been holding on to. So you can say things like, I'm sorry for, please forgive me for. And you can even say, please help me to understand more or please help me to create better communication with you. I don't know what I can say or do. Can you help me? Also, you can say, thank you for doing this and this. So by going through this process of, I'm sorry, please forgive me, you are able to see how grateful you are for this person. When you are feeling only pain and anger, we may skip or not able to feel the appreciation for what another person did for you to begin with. So you can say thank you. Now next, in the depths of you, you can feel the love for this person and say, I love you. So through this step, you are able to process your feelings, let go of all the negative energy or emotions you may have had and create the positive emotions inside and into appreciation and love. Through that communication also, the person in front of you will feel open and be able to share his or her feelings and may share how much he or she cares for you and love you. Now slowly, you can open your eyes, breathing in and out. <sighs> so how was your experience? I hope that you felt the shift from holding on to the pain and being the victim of the negative emotion or difficult situations, but you can feel confidence in creating a healthy, positive relationship. Thank you for watching. Tao Thursday with Ilchibuko on Brain Education TV. Next time, I will be sharing about how to overcome your negative emotions. Thank you. See you next time.